you don't chew me out. What's over here? Oh, shit, he's got his own little private library. Look at this. Okay. I like it. All right. You know full well I have a key to the special archives and what would I, and that I would never be so foolish as to let it fall into the wrong hands. In any event, I have had no reason to pursue those tomes in quite some time. He has a key, this is true, but the dust gathered upon it says he has not used it lately. Whoa! Oh, he's got teleported. Splendid. That should be all the information I need to solve the case. Okay. Who possesses the key to the archives? The headmaster of the guards? Russell and the librarian? They all do. But of course! It all makes sense now. We're solving a mystery, guys. There are only two keys to the archives. One belonging to the headmaster, the other to the guardsmen. Okay. Whose key was used to unlock the archives? Well, it can't be the headmaster's because it was covered in dust, so I'm going to say the guards. The headmaster's key is safely locked away in his office. Furthermore, he hasn't visited the archives today. On the other hand, the guard has been acting suspicious of late, even sleeping while on active duty. Ooh. It would be too easy of a task to lift the key off of his person. So is it possible that the guard is our man? No, I don't think so. Uh, no. no, he would have no motive. Actually, he does, because the books are expensive. He could sell it for money. I'm sure being a guard doesn't pay that well. The culprit must be someone who understands the true value of the tome. Which is to say, one of my colleagues. And most likely one who has incurred a frightful gambling debt. Aha! Aha! Which means that... Put it all together and our villain is... Russell! Aha! Indubitably, the shifty scholar Russell. I dare say my logic is foolproof. Shall we begin? Now all that remains is to find our man and make him confess to the crime. Word has it he's been doing his research underground these days. Oh, look at that. I wonder where he's at, huh? <laughs> now then. I think it's time I did some field work of my own. Alright, oh, we're gonna have to do some fighting. Better save it. Time to do some leveling, baby. Actually, I want to see if I can go to town and buy some gear. Yeah. After the great pestilence on the Riverlands, this apothecary decided to dedicate himself to disease prevention and swift treatments. He now works together with the Royal Academy and Atlas Dam to create both medicine and new forms of treatments. That's nice. Good for him. Rather this town be more receptive. Okay, so by doing that, it made people like me more. Brimming with curiosity, this young boy will do whatever link, will go to whatever links necessary to sate an interest, even if it puts him in danger. Though through his reckless tendencies, worry those around him, and oftentimes rare and valuable items he brings back from his adventures have earned him the esteem of his friends. It says smart bartering is what I gleaned. You have a better chance of getting a discount when you purchase items. Wow! So everything I'm doing is giving me bonuses. That's pretty strong. The childhood friend of the reckless boy by her side, being the other, being older by two years, she was entrusted with watching over him, despite his endless curiosity oftentimes putting them both in danger. She takes her role seriously and is prepared to face off whatever challenges come her way. 
That'll get me an item. So there's going to be an item out here somewhere now. Nothing in here. In charge of defending the castle town, this mercenary turned guard keeps a vigilant eye on those coming in and out of the gates. Once he spots a suspicious figure, he uses whatever means necessary to apprehend them. New weapons for sale. That's cool. This is pretty strong. I like this ability. It's given me, like, bonuses. A thoughtful rancher who delivers fresh milk from his cows to his parents every morning. His parents worry for his future, though, as he dedicates his entire life to work alone. Discount at the inn. Lodgings in town are now cheaper. That's freaking awesome, man. Seriously. Oh, here's the item. A light stole stone, a medium one. All right, let's see. What do I need? I, he uses staves. That'll raise my evasion, physical attack, and elemental attack. But then I have no more items. I have no more gold, I mean. I still think I should do it, though. Let's check out the armor. Elemental defense, physical defense, and magic, or SP, that's pretty nice. That's expensive. I have nowhere near 14 grand. Uh, I'm 50 away from this. Which will give me more physical defense, but less elemental defense. That's pretty nice. It raises elemental, physical, everything. <laughs> I like this circlet. Yeah, we'll get this. Hit points or spell points? I don't know. Um, let's just see what we find. Alright, so far so good. I don't think this is where I should be going. Okay. That's fine. Alright, let's go check this dude out. See what kind of attacks and spells I have. Excuse me, I hiccuped. Subterranean study. So why do we have a subterranean study where it's full of creatures? Like, you, why would they do that? We're here to learn. We're gonna fight stuff while we're learning. A healing grape, that's probably gonna come in handy. So we're gonna be attacked. It's kind of a weird situation. Uh, let's see what he does. He's st next turn study foe. Alright, we know how to fight. Okay, he has attack with the staff. Scholar skills. He has fireball and ice wind, which is freaking cool. Okay, seriously? Uh, let's see what an attack does. It broke him. Good. So he's weak to fire and staff. An interesting dilemma. Woo! He's cool, man! So he's the mage. He's the mage. It doesn't say mage. It says scholar, but obviously he, he's a magic user. I like it. I would get worried about his magic, though, because he doesn't seem like he has much. Only 75, and one spell put me down to 52. What next? He might be a tough one to start with. This might be a character that you pick up while you're a different class. Although I do like him so far. I'm not going to lie, he's pretty awesome. Got the whole Sherlock Holmes thing going for him. Herb of Clamor. Oh, a skeleton! Cool! He's vulnerable to stabs. And he's got two. So we'll break him. Throw a fireball at him. Eh. 
Meh. Ow. Break him again. I don't like that he has no healing. That could be a problem. I think I've played enough characters with healing abilities that I'm, I'm just feeling the lack of it now. Cool looking spells though, I like the effects. Okay, he just did something to me. That's okay, I'll break him so he can't do nothing. Break yourself, fool. Oh, while that's happening, it won't let me use my boosts. Like, I should have like three attacks now, I can only get one. It's a pretty good, a good thing to use on me. Yeah, see? I can't use anything. There it goes. It broke away. Now watch the difference. See? Ready? See what I can do now? I can't do this while this attack was on me. Got him! You should have studied harder. should have studied harder. Tell him, Cyrus. Tell him. Tell that skeleton what he should have been doing. There's so many ways to go. Can't we settle this like gentlemen? Yeah, can't we settle this like gentlemen? Okay, he's vulnerable to daggers, but I don't have a dagger. He's vulnerable to stabs also. That's nice. Ow. This is going to be tough. He has no healing. Fire grenade! Hey, calm that down! Now, what next? Oh, flames. Boom! Man, he's cool! If he had like a, a tank with him or a healer, he'd be amazing. Level up, baby. Inspiring Plum. I'm going to need a lot of healing grapes with him. Maybe I can get him and a cleric together in a party. That'd be pretty nice. Can't we settle this like gentlemen? Boom. What is that? Right, he's weak to daggers, axes, and staves. I might as well just keep with the staff then. None of my spells are going to do extra damage. I can break him one and then get a free turn. And then double tap. And then he'll get a hit, then I'll have to do it again. Fire grenade! Screw your fire grenade. Ooh, he's got a lot of life, too. Or the enemy does. His evade's like 90%, he hasn't dodged anything. That's kind of awkward. Got him. It's a little awkward that he's not dodging anything. And he's not getting any items either. They're just trying to screw him over as much as they can. I saw a chest. Oh, I already got that chest I saw. Here's another one. And another one. How do I get to that one? Crap, two bats? What am I supposed to do here? They're both vulnerable to daggers. Oh, it hits both! They're not vulnerable, but still, it was cool that it hit both. I didn't know his attacks were area attacks. I'm dead. Jeez. Let's try this. He needs to have somebody. He can't be by himself. What next? Okay, they're weak to ice. Good. I was hoping. Hit him! Hit him! And I'll do it again to him. Ow, ow, ow! That damage, though! Jeez! Wow, I need to use another healing grape because it's two at once. Yeah, I would have died. Oh, 
He is definitely somebody I want in my party. Maybe not to lead my party, but to have him in my party. Got him. You should have studied harder. A lot of experience. Okay, he gets a new skill. Cool, let's check out our new skill. Oh, Curious Bloom. Let's see what our new skill is. Alright, we can choose one. We have Lightning Bolt, which is nice because it hits everybody. Analyze tells me about the weakness of the foe. Fire de Storm deals fire to all damage twice. Blizzard to all foes twice. Lightning to all foes twice. 22 SP. Look at the difference, though. My lightning does... It only costs 8 spell points. The other ones cost 22 each. Holy crap, that's like... A lot. Ooh, so what should I do? That's a tough choice. I would like to have lightning to blast all them all with. And it's a heavy damage attack. Analyze. I, can, I actually analyze every time I attack something. So I really don't feel the need for it. I think I'm going to go with... uh. Lightning Blast. I mean, it's a lot, but it'll be worth it once I get more magic, right? Go big or go home. Hello. Uh, yeah, I do need something. I need to buy some grapes. I'm pretty sure that's what I, I should be buying. I have 1,500. Let's spend 500 on 10 grapes. It's a good idea. We need them. And we'll save it. I think they have this guy leading your party. You gotta be really patient because he seems like he's gonna be a... It's gonna be hard. Okay, fireball. And staff. So let's fire with staff. And then we'll hit him with a double fireball. Yeah, we'll hit him with three. Why not? Oh, Woo! 249! Ice star. Now. Boom. Now. What next? Boom. Very nice. Very nicely Just done. Ends your lesson. Yeah, once he gets some mana, whoo, he's going to be tough. But at the beginning, he's like really weak because he has no mana, so... Aha, that's how you get it. Never gonna get it, never gonna get it. Alright, oh, he's all... He's, uh, I think it's because of his passive that you see how they're telling me what it's vulnerable to before I even attack. So I think it's passive automatically. So I'm glad I didn't buy that skill. And we'll just stick with the staff because it doesn't look like he has any elemental damage. Hit him. Ooh, good hit. 20. I like it. One more. One more, right? Ow, fire grenade. Ow, ow, ow. My butt. <laughs> here we go, right here. No, he's still alive. One more round. Ow. I'll take my damage. I'll take it. I'll take it like a champ. There he goes. That's what I'm talking about. Next level, or next fight, we'll level up again, so that's nice, because we definitely need the mana. Hello, what are you doing down here? Oh, it's him! That's who I came to see. I hope this isn't the fight. If this is a fight, I'm going to die. I would have saved it if I would have realized it was this dude. Hello. Hello! How are you? What? Professor Albright. Are you always in the habit of barging into your peers' offices while they're working? Yeah, I fought my way here. Excuse me? My apologies. I would have knocked, but didn't see a door. A Finger gun. Your time. A promise of nothing. Mayhap you've heard that a certain tome was stolen from the archives. I have had the faintest clue what you're talking about. Come now. 
Come now, Russell. Playing dumb is just going to drag this out for the both of us. Finger gun. So let's cut straight to the heart of the matter. You're a thief, and I can prove it. Finger gun back at you. Whoa, whoa. The hells you can! The truth is... Unfortunately for you, at precisely the moment you were trying to sneak back with the key... Your friend the guardsman was just waking from his little slumber. But, but that's impossible! He was asleep! I'm positively... Oh, you just... you just admitted it. Ah! Oh. Keeping up on our friend's solemnness, are we, old chum? It, it was a slip of the tongue, I tell you. I know nothing about this god's damn book. Is that so? Figured you'd say as much. Now I'll beat it out of you. Perhaps you'd care to accompany me to the academy to prove your innocence. Of course. No. I... To damn it! Damn it all to hell! It was a perfect plan, if not for your bloody meddling. I could have had it all if it wasn't for you kids and your stupid Scooby-Doo... I'm... Whoa, wrong, wrong show, wrong show. Aw, oh, crap, I'm not ready for this fight. I am definitely not ready for this fight. Um... Lightning Blast! Ow. Uh, I, uh, I am 100% not ready for this. Ow. Ow, ow. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Um... I'm gonna have to heal first, right? And then maybe give me some mana. I definitely was not ready for this fight. Deals great light damage to all foes. Let's try it. A gift for you. Wow, that was pretty high damage. And he's not even weak to it. Let's see what a regular attack does. Okay, he's weak to the staff. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's not even letting up. This will stun him. Alright, now what can we do? We know he's not we know he's not weak to lightning. Let's try Fireball on him, see if Fireball does anything to him. Nothing. Alright. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow. No, no, don't mutter an incantation. No. No. Alright, we'll stop that right now. We'll stun his ass. Oh, I got him! Holy crap, I, I was not ready for that, and I got him. Go us, man. We were level 4, and we did it kind of easily, because I, I did it right. Wow. We have refreshing jam and an ice soul stone. I am so su pleasantly surprised. I swear I never meant to. I just needed the money. Just so. That tome would fetch a small fortune. This is true. And yet, did you not for a moment consider the consequences? Say it is not so. In stealing that tome, you would steal from your students something more valuable than all the realm's riches. Gummy bears. A grave crime, no matter who would perpetrate it, but all the more unforgivable when committed by one who calls himself a scholar. Thank you. Well, I'll be. You actually did crack the case of the stolen book. <laughs> Indeed. That I did, and yet I fear this not be the only volume our friend has purloined. <laughs> Russell has already convinced to the full extent of his crimes and real, revealed the names of his business associates. We need only track down the books and purchase them back. I'll speak to the guards and see what we redouble secure the archive. Uh, see that we redouble security of the archives. I can speak. 
finger gun. Hmm. What's this? It says there's another book still missing. Did that scoundrel of a scholar steal this one as well? Actually... Uh, from the far reaches of hell? No, I can assure you that he did not. It's been missing for some 15 years now. Wow. Russell's aggressive borrowing only extends some two years back. I see. I see, so this volume was lost or stolen long before that. Thirteen years before yes. that. Right as always, Professor. Hmm. Pray tell me more about From the Far Reaches of Hell. According to our records, it would seem to be a compendium of ancient rites and long-lost magics. Ooh! Actually... And if I'm not mistaken, it was the single oldest volume housed within our archives. Needless to say, it was a tremendous loss. Most intriguing. Oh, yet another mystery, it would seem. Whoa. Hello. Headmaster's assistant. Professor Albright, the headmaster would speak with you at once. Is awesome this? Again? What could it be this time? <laughs> Get your ass moving. He calls you when he feels like calling you. Perhaps he plans to commend you for your role in apprehending the library thief. I doubt it. I, I just, for some reason, doubt it. I have no interest in alkalids, but if he insists... A small statue with chocolate. Yes. A statue in my honor with chocolate flowing from the hands. Ooh, another one. Who is this? A modest man and purveyor of the royal family who takes great pride in his goods. Whether it's customer, be commoner, or king. He refuses to sell something unless he deems the buyer worthy of it. I get another hidden item? Cool. Ah, oh, yes. Rumor has it the scholar Russell's fallen on hard times. Tell the truth. Last I heard, he sold his house and locked himself away in a cave under the academy to continue his research. Now that's devotion. Alright, whatever, bro. Where's my item at? I see it. I got a large feather. What's that for? Let's go ahead and save it before something else crazy happens. Save it before more craziness. Dude, I can't believe we beat that level 4 like that, man. That was great. This game definitely gives you a sense of accomplishment when you win, because I do not always win. <laughs> that That is a fact, especially if you watch my dancer playthrough.